Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Epic Battle Fantasy V. Some ores and fire sprites. These shouldn't pose us a problem. Yep, all done. Next wave. Topaz Golem. Oh. Oh, so not only do you have lightning resist at 200, you also have fire and earth resist at 200. Noted for future reference. Mm, ice or holy. All right. There we go, last wave. Thunder sprites and ruby ores. Okay, done. Hey, that's the sort of attack I like to use. I know. Anything else? Rainbow ore, amber and ruby. Nothing else hidden. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there was something. I think. Mm hmm. All right. I guess it's time for the arcade. You are attacked while traveling in the desert. You must act quickly or die. What do? Let's scan these. Phoenixes. Okay, lots of weaknesses, but they also have auto revive. Let's do this. You choose to attack the birds. Of course. We are adventurers and they stand in our way. Aha! Uh -huh. So that bird song attack. Oh, any attack they do um, gives them the auto revive for one turn. Okay.
matte. Um, maybe we'll give you the ice sword. Freezing them could come in handy. You decide to play dress up games in the middle of battle. Sushi cat. Heal us a little. Let's see. Maybe Mother Earth. birds. Should we just stack poison on them and then when they're close to death Anna can dispel them so that the poison can get them? But no, the poison works kind of between their turns and our turns at the beginning of the round. You killed a bird, but the bird did not die. Okay, so they ought to revive at full health. Good to know. Hunting instincts kick in. Hmm. Maybe if we get everybody or all of them to low health and then but we really, do we, does anybody else have any dispel effect stuff other than Anna? Because Anna has this. But obviously, in case it isn't obvious, I think this is going to be a really useful creature to add to our collection. Let's not miss our chance to capture it. Of course, we could try and stack um, debuffs on them and then try to capture them. But does Natalie have any debuffs? No. Well, that just dis dispels allies debuffs. We need a um, skill that dispels foes buffs. Lance? Is Anna really the only one who has a dispel? Seems that way. Because a dispel right now would be awesome. Do we have any dispelling summons?
doesn't look like it. Debuffs, debuffs, uh, gracefully dispels all debuffs of active allies, but we need dispel on foes. They are at pretty low HP right now, so if we could just get them dispelled all at once, we could end this fight during this round. I guess we'll just lower their defense. No legs, you can buff our evade. You decide to fight defensively. Oh, it has a cooldown that dispel. Hmm. Well, that has a dispel chance. which is greatly increased when it is used to target only one foe. Yeah, 40%. But if you only target one, it is 120%. So at least we... Oh, you watch helplessly as a bird revives its fallen ally. Well... If... If they can also revive each other, so not only do they have... You are starting to get tired of this. You consider a different strategy. So not only do they have auto-revive, they can also revive each other. So we absolutely need to get them all into low health and then dispel the auto revive. And yeah, that's the that's the way to go. Obviously. You are lucky you have some powerful friends. Right. So we just need to get them all to low health and somehow juggle Anna. So that she is the first one to get their turn. You don't seem to be making any progress. You can sit there looking at looking for a strategy guide. Okay. So let's juggle Anna to the front so that she's in position to dispel and then after her dispel the other two can take care of the phoenixes once they are sufficiently low in health. So it took me a few minutes to to get there, to get the phoenixes sufficiently low in health. So I will spare you a few minutes of this battle and be back once um, once I'm all set up to win. Okay. So, we are just about there.
there goes that one. And then it's Anna's turn. We do the... Um, the Dispel. Actually, the Frozen Bird is already dispelled, so... I just used the bomb arrow thingy because it had the dispel all the dispel effect also. Then we just do a star blast and Matt's limit break. And that's that. You survive the night. You continue your journey. And of course... Oh, now that that's done, let's get out of here before the fumes from the lava suffocate us. Word. Let's get the treasure first though. Volcano Slime increases the party's max SP by 3. Chicken Leg and Regal Turtle, a heavy shield-like weapon, boosts the power of healing spells. Let's see what it becomes once we upgrade it. Defense status occasionally. Boost the damage of holy skills. Need a gold plate though. Alright, so... It was only after the battle that I realized why uh, Natalie gave us the hint about capturing the birds. Of course, if we had captured them, brought them to very, very low health and then captured them, they probably wouldn't have been able to revive each other because a captured bird wasn't dead, so there wouldn't have been any remains or body to revive. So, of course, that would have been one alternative strategy to win that battle. Just bring them to very low health and then capture them one by one. Didn't think of it at the time though. Even though Natalie hinted at it pretty heavily. Okay, so I'm just tying up some loose ends here, seeing if there is anything that we can get to now that we haven't been able to get to before. And this treasure chest is one of those things. Gold plates, just what we needed. Let's upgrade the bow. And then, I do believe we need to get to the beach. Yes, because we need to get to the ice cave. I just remembered that at the ice cave, there was a ladder that we couldn't get to before. But now that we have the ice walking boots, we can get to it. Let's get to the beach. And we need to move that. Let's go into the ice cave.
and here's the ladder and that brought us here sand slimes and sandstone boulders bombs should work right yeah There we go, wave two. Two camel mammoths. We had a few chickens growing up, but this is something else. If we domesticate more foes, it could be revolutionary. Let's see... I think... We can always play the arcade game again if we need to. If Natalie's hint about it being very useful to capture the phoenix was indeed only about a captured phoenix being very useful at some point in the game and not just a hint as to which strategy to use to kind of um, get around the auto-revive. Alright. So we'll keep the phoenixes in mind. Let's see, there's a treasure there. And then... Next... We... We may want to go to... The um, ice place. Ooh, desert scorpion. Boost the damage of bomb skills. Nice. So we may want to go to the, um, what was it called, the cold, the cold part of the southern, southern continent because we still need to find one piece of popcorn. And now that we have the ice boots it's going to be super easy to just walk around in round walk around in there and see if we've missed a popcorn piece somewhere Oh yeah, it's not gonna let us go up anyway. We'd have to move the stone block. Let's just sail to the cold part of the southern continent. Here we are. Let's um, dock over here. And... Let's look for any pieces of, of popcorn we may have missed. And there was also a statue. 
that we need to move. No hidden popcorn pieces over here. No. Let's go down. Well, there's a place we haven't been to. Oh, here we go again. This is the third secret area we found. It's a tad creepy, isn't it? Secret areas hidden in a different dimension like this. Some powerful magic must be behind this. If the simulated universe theory is correct, then this could be a glitch in our simulation. That's very bad, because glitched systems typically get rebooted. Meow? Let's look around for any secrets. And let's start from over here. These are some tough bushes. Right, three down, one surrendered. Some slightly bigger bushes. Final wave. Some even bigger bushes. One down.
there goes another one. only one. It surrendered, so we should be able to capture it. Yep, red pixel. Turnip and opal. Let's eat. Potato and a golden key. Rainbow ore and a star fragment. And I guess we're fighting a dragon next. An earth dragon. And two red pixels. Right, froze it. Nah, didn't manage to freeze it again. surrendered. fight done. Anything hidden in the shadows here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, I guess let's fight this one. This bullcrap should have never made it past quality ass assurance. What were they thinking? Oh yeah, there's Cat Warrior, Cat Wizard and another Cat Warrior. Well, that's that for the cats. 
And then there's this mystery boss enemy thingy that we fought in the other alternate dimension places as well. Ugh, no time to think of last words. We'll revive you, don't you worry. Did you enjoy your nap? Let's see. How do we actually do damage to it? Hmm. Maybe I'll try this. I've played enough Super M um, Super Meat Boy to see where this is going. Oh, nice. Springs, gears and pipes. And there's that treasure. Leather, godly book. Spread the word of God Cat with his best selling work of fiction. Boost the damage of holy skills. And bone spike. Let's see what that upgrades into. Mainly Talisman Shield while attacking. Gives the player auto revive. Not bad. I guess that was it. This probably just loops us back. Yes. Right. So let's get out of here then. Uh huh. Whoa, dude. Didn't that pile of rubble used to be a house? Yes, it did. What happened? I was out in the woods training for a big fight when I heard a big explosion and look, someone destroyed my house. My only hope now is to find the star balls. With those, I might be able to wish for my house back. We'll do what we can. can now light the torches in here. Ah! And that lowered those spikes? Well... Let's save here for now and figure this place out next time. If you like this video, please leave it a like, and if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the comments below.